They were going to be Moana. Moana. Even when Moana was little, Moana of Mauti loved the ocean. She also loved listening to Graham Tala's stories. Moana's favorite was about the Trisker demigod Maui, Maui who stole the heart of Mother Island to Fiji. According to Grandmama, Grandma, Maui upset the balance of nature by stealing the heart. Ma, Ma, Moana's dad, dad, Chief Two, <clears throat> believed in the ocean was dangerous. The islanders were forbidden to sail beyond the reef. But Moana, well, Moana, but little Moana felt a deep connection to the ocean and to do all the creatures who belonged in it she always wanted to help and the ocean noticed and gave the Moana a special gift a special gift <clears throat> when chief 2 picked up Moana she dropped the gift Lucky someone else picked it up. It was Grandma Tala. She believed in the ocean's gift was the heart of Tefiti. As she grew, Moana worked hard to help lead her people and follow her father's rules. But when Moana turned 16, Grand Tala took her aside. It's time to learn who you're meant to be, Grandma said. She led Moana to a hidden cavern. When Moana started drumming, bam, 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 uh, she could feel the spirits of her ancestors. They were wayfinders. Voyage, voyagers on the ocean. Grand Tala's wish was for Moana to journey across the ocean, find Maui, and restore the heart of Tefiti. So, with the heart safe inside her necklace, Moana said, sailed. But sailing on the ocean, open ocean, it was not easy for Moana, especially when it when a storm hit. Moana and her boat washed up on on a faraway island where she met Maui the demigod. He was not. What Mo Moana expected. Ah, I feel like I missed a page. But Maui stole Moana's boat, but when he tried to sail away, the ocean made sure Moana went with him. The ocean wanted to them to work together. Maui promised to return the, the heart of Tefiti only if Moana helped him find his magic fish hook. But they first had to get past Kamora, a army of wild coconut clad battles. Like, <laughs> then they had to dive into uh, Lota, the realm of monsters. Thinking fast, Moana tricked Tamanta, a crab monster, and she took Maui, and she and she took Maui and revived the missing fish hook. Along the way, Maui taught Moana how to be a wayfinder, a wayfind, which is 
using the sun and the stars, the moon, and the ocean current to negative, <coughs> and went on a journey. And when the journey became too difficult, the spirit of Grand Tala returned. Know who you're meant to be, Grand. Mala's spirit told Moana. When Moana and Maui finally reached Tifiti, the mon, uh, T fifty, the monster island was gone, and said there was a lava monster named Taka. Maui and Moana tried everything they could. But they could not feed Taka. Then Moana had an idea. Summoning the cur her courage, Moana gave the heart to Taka, and Taka remembered who she was meant to be. She was Tafiti with her bloomed. Restored to Fiti bloomed once again. Her heart stored to Fiti bloomed again. To Fiti bloomed once again. The world was back in balance. Moana and Maui said goodbye. Their journey together was complete. Maui transformed into a hawk and flew away. It was time for Moana to return to her people. The young girl from Mount Hyarba knew exactly who she was meant to be. She was the daughter, a leader, and a wayfinder. She was Moana. Hey guys, this is the end of the book. Make sure you read along. Bye. Make sure you subscribe and like the video.